Good morning. I just woke up. And I have the worst lower belly cramps. Oh my lord. Don't pull mommy's hair. <laughs> also, don't do that. <laughs> he tries to take my beauty marks off of my skin. That's hilarious. <laughs> so for breakfast, um, I'm making the baby some oat in prune cereal. He's been having a really rough time with constipation since we started him on solids. So his doctor recommended that um, I give him prune juice every day or try and incorporate more prunes with his diet. He's getting impatient with me for his breakfast. But yeah, so that's what that looks like. Yummy. And then every morning I have these shakes. Well, Monday to Friday on mornings I have um, Isogenics shakes. So I'm just going to pour that and then go give him his breakfast. Oh, you're hungry, huh? He's been stuffed up with a cold for like a week. Well, actually, it's been over a week now. Yeah, you started it. You started it before we went to see Daddy, huh? So he's been um, a lot lighter on the solids than what he normally is. Because of obvious reasons, he has a hard time swallowing and breathing at the same time. But... Oh well. <laughs> Ready for another bite? Mm. Oh, he started last week too. Mr. Buddy is just like all grown up. And he stopped wanting his sippy cup last week. And now I found these cups. He loves it. Um, the water only comes out, it's called a wow, wow cup. So the way it works is the water can only come out one side and then it's totally spill-proof. I know, I'm sorry, I'm Oh, baby. I'm not endorsed by them in any way, by the way, but I found it at Winners and I thought it was just the most magical thing because he wanted to be a big boy and drink out of a real cup so this is what we're using and it works fantastic because obviously if it was any other kind of cup that wouldn't have survived so yeah <laughs> who's that kid standing on his own Are you gonna walk you gonna walk towards mom? Woo! <laughs> Good job! <gasps> you gonna walk to go see what's over there? <laughs> Good 
Good job. <laughs> Is it dinner time? Silence. <laughs> Seems like the congestion he had um, with his little cold never went away. And he's been going through this phase of not letting me put him down. <laughs> Has anyone else had this trouble with a nine-month-old? If so, please message me in the comments. I would love to know what you've done to stop it. Because also, baby, I'm right here. Because obviously I can't um, put him down or get anything ever done. He's been like this for about a week and I know it's okay, babe. It's okay. Yeah, we co sleep at night still, and obviously I'm also still breastfeeding. Um, so it's been really hard because, so we're co-sleeping and even when he's sleeping, I guess he's keeping tabs on me because I can't even roll over and turn my back to him in the bed without him waking up and being upset about it. So please send me your advice for very attached babies. I'm also really wanting to stop breastfeeding soon. Um, I only wanted to breastfeed until he was three months old, and then I just kept on going because he wasn't wanting anything to do with any bottles or, oh lord, formula, nothing. He didn't want to know anything about anything. So I just kind of been keeping up with it. Look at you. Nanu, nanu keeping up with his demand, but I would really like to have a break in between breastfeeding babies. So if you have any advice on how or but if you have any tips, send them my way. I would be most appreciative. Oh, and just a side note, I know that some of you guys are going to be like, oh, obviously he was crying. He was hungry. Obviously, he didn't want you to leave. He was hungry. Okay. Yes, I understand. But he's like this every time I put him down. It's not just when he's hungry. Right now, it was because he was hungry. But, like, he's literally like this every time I put him down for the past week. And he wasn't like this before. So, I'm just wondering, what's up with that? You gonna walk? You gonna walk? <gasps> No? Okay. Good job, though.